Essex's late in the day resurgence managed to put their hopes of an unbeaten season back on track on day two at the Aegeus Bowl against Hampshire. Champion County Essex would have been hoping for a better morning than their evening last night, but they had a pretty bad start, Abbott dismissing Lawrence for just 11. Essex skipper Tender Scarter was still in, and he'd have wanted to have hung around the crease a while longer than 26 runs, but that's all Abbott allowed him, pinning the Dutchman in front. South African Abbott seemed unplayable, and proved so for Harmer. He went for just four, Abbott's fifth wicket. And one ball later, Abbott struck again, another LBW, Wagner going for no score. At this point, Essex were nine down for just 75, and they could only add one more run before the innings was ended. The last line of resistance, Foster, but he fell for 10. Essex inexplicably bowled out for just 76. Abbott finished with six for 20, and unsurprisingly, Hampshire enforced the follow-on. It didn't take long for them to take their first scalp of the Essex second innings either. Chopra the first to go off Berg's bowling, managing only five before becoming the sixth wicket of the morning session. Essex 22 for one at the lunch break. Brown and Wesley were the pair at the crease when the afternoon session got underway and seemed to be making a much better fist of their second innings. But Brown wasn't able to stick around too long, Dawson trapping him in front for 24. At the other end, Wesley was progressing through the gears nicely, trying to book his ticket to Australia in the process. But Dawson had other ideas, getting in on the act once again and sharply taking one drilled back at him, Wesley departing for 36. Essex reaching T on 118 for 3. When the evening session got into full flow, Lawrence cashed in, reaching his half century with a single off Berg's bowling. Lawrence and Papara looked to have settled into the groove, and as the evening session wore on, they reached their hundred partnership, digging the visitors out of their precarious situation. Having struggled early on, Papara looked to have his eye in, and the Essex pair looked to have swung the momentum in their side's favour. Papara reaching his 50 as Essex moved into the lead. Bad light brought the day to a premature end, with Essex looking more like the side recently crowned Division One champions. The score. 208 for three at stumps, Essex 30 runs ahead with seven wickets still in hand.